doing musket demonstrations every hour as long as the weather's been cooperating and the muskets have been cooperating. That can be a little iffy, but uh, we do our best and we're just kind of here to talk to people, talk about the War of 1812, the uniforms and the muskets. So, so this is the uniform of a Glengarry Light Infantry member. Um, it was a fencible unit um, during the War of 1812. So a fencible unit only had to serve here in Canada. By contract, they did not have to go serve elsewhere in the Empire, which made it very appealing for a lot of people because um, as it was more expensive for the British Empire to uh, change the uniforms than it was just to replace the men who died of heat stroke, you were being sent everywhere in the Empire wearing these lovely wool uniforms. So this is a brown vest, flintlock musket. It's uh, the third Indian pattern. So the British Empire used them for more or less 150 years with slight changes to the pattern. These muskets, um, very inaccurate, very uh, unreliable as well. But as your uh, enemy is using more or less the same thing, you will all encounter the same problems. Present arms. Thank you. Shoulder. Arms. Now the words that he spoke were the wisest of philosophy. There's nothing to be gained from that wet thing called a tear. And when the world is dark and I need a light, 